A general relativity, or Einstein's theory of gravity, is a monumental scientific breakthrough published by Albert Einstein in 1915. It's the current description of gravitation in modern physics, but what does that even mean? Think of space and time as a giant, stretchy fabric called space-time. When you place a heavy object, like a planet or a star, on this fabric, it causes a dent or curvature. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. So instead of thinking of gravity as an invisible force pulling objects together, imagine it as objects following the curved paths in space-time. Einstein's theory refined Newton's law of universal gravitation. Newton saw gravity as a force between masses, but Einstein took it a step further. He showed that gravity is the result of the warping of space-time by mass and energy. This idea is summed up in the Einstein field equations, which are a set of complex mathematical equations. Now let's talk about some mind-blowing predictions of general relativity. Ever heard of black holes? These are regions where space-time is warped so much that nothing, not even light, can escape. Black holes are the end state for massive stars and can be stellar-sized or supermassive. Another cool phenomenon is gravitational lensing. Imagine light from a distant star passing near a massive object like a galaxy. The light bends around the galaxy, creating multiple images of the same star. It's like nature's own magnifying glass. General relativity also predicted gravitational waves. These are ripples in space-time caused by massive objects like merging black holes or neutron stars. In 2015, the LIGO Observatory made history by directly observing these waves, confirming another of Einstein's predictions. But it's not all smooth sailing. Reconciling general relativity with quantum physics remains one of the biggest challenges in modern science. We still don't have a unified theory that combines gravity with the other three fundamental forces. Strong, weak and electromagnetism. In classical mechanics, the motion of a body is described by a combination of inertial motion and deviations caused by external forces. These deviations, such as gravity, follow Newton's second law. Think of it this way, an apple falls from a tree because it's attracted to the earth by a gravitational force. But what if we told you that gravity can also be described geometrically? In Newtonian gravity, freefall trajectories, the paths objects take under the influence of gravity, define the geometry of space and time. This leads us to a fascinating idea, the universality of freefall. Experiments such as the famous Iotvos experiment confirm that all objects, regardless of their properties, fall at the same rate. This principle suggests that inertial motion and motion under gravity are indistinguishable, hinting at a new definition of inertial motion that includes free-falling objects. Here's where things get even more interesting. This concept of free-fall trajectories implies a curved space-time. In other words, the paths objects take under gravity indicate that space-time itself is curved. Now let's bring in special relativity, which deals with high-speed phenomena. Special relativity introduces Lorentz symmetry and light cones, which define causal structures, sets of events that can influence each other without exceeding the speed of light. When we include gravity in the mix, we find that there are no global inertial frames, only local ones in freefall. This means we need a curved space-time geometry. Einstein's equivalence principle, derived from the universality of freefall, states that the laws of special relativity apply in locally inertial frames, essentially freefall frames. This principle leads us to the conclusion that space-time is locally Minkowskian but globally curved. The metric tensor, which defines the geometry, is a generalized version of the Minkowski metric used in special relativity. This brings us to the concept of a semi- or pseudo-Riemannian metric associated with the Levitsch-Vita connection, ensuring that space-time is locally Minkowskian and adheres to the equivalence principle. Let's delve into the fascinating consequences of Einstein's groundbreaking theory. Gravitational time dilation and frequency shift. Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts that gravity affects the passage of time. Imagine time flowing slower near a massive object like a planet or a star. This phenomenon, known as gravitational time dilation, means that clocks closer to a massive body tick more slowly compared to those farther away. This effect isn't just theoretical, it's been measured using atomic clocks on Earth and validated by the Global Positioning System, GPS. Additionally, light behaves differently in a gravitational field. Light falling into a gravitational field is blue-shifted making its wavelength shorter, 
while light escaping is redshifted, lengthening its wavelength. This gravitational frequency shift has been confirmed through both laboratory experiments and astronomical observations. Light deflection and gravitational time delay. One of the most visually striking predictions of general relativity is the deflection of light by massive objects. When starlight passes near a massive body like the Sun, it follows the curvature of space-time, causing the light to bend. This was first confirmed during a solar eclipse in 1919, providing one of the earliest proofs of Einstein's theory. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, allows us to observe distant galaxies and understand the mass distribution of the universe. Another intriguing consequence is the Shapiro time delay. This effect describes the additional time taken by light to travel through a gravitational field. Both light deflection and gravitational time delay have been rigorously tested, enhancing our understanding of gravity's influence on the geometry of space. Gravitational waves. In 1916, Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that propagate at the speed of light. These waves are generated by massive accelerating objects such as merging black holes. A century later in 2016, the advanced LIGO team made the first direct detection of gravitational waves confirming Einstein's prediction. These waves distort space-time in a rhythmic fashion allowing us to observe cosmic events that were previously hidden from view. Orbital effects and the relativity of direction. General relativity also predicts several effects on orbiting bodies. One notable effect is the precession of apsides, where the closest point in an orbit gradually shifts over time. This has been observed in the orbits of planets and binary pulsar systems. Gravitational waves emitted by binary systems lead to orbital decay as the system loses energy. This was first observed in the binary pulsar PSR 1913 plus 16 by Hulse and Taylor, earning them the Nobel Prize. Other relativistic effects include geodetic precession and frame dragging. Geodetic precession causes the axis of a gyroscope in freefall to change direction over time, while frame dragging, caused by rotating masses, makes nearby objects experience a dragging effect. Having delved into the profound consequences of general relativity, it's time to explore its intriguing relationship with another cornerstone of modern physics quantum theory, Let's embark on this journey to understand how these two monumental theories interact and the quest to unify them. Quantum field theory in curved space-time. While general relativity governs the macroscopic world of stars and galaxies, quantum theory delves into the microscopic realm of particles and forces. The challenge lies in reconciling these two frameworks. Quantum field theories, the bedrock of particle physics, are typically formulated in flat Minkowski space, an ideal setting for describing particles in weak gravitational fields. However, in regions where gravity is strong, such as near black holes, physicists turn to quantum field theory in curved spacetime. This advanced framework merges general relativity's curved spacetime with quantum principles, predicting phenomena like Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation suggests that black holes emit particles and could eventually evaporate, reshaping our understanding of black hole thermodynamics. Quantum gravity. The quest for a unified theory that harmonizes quantum mechanics with general relativity has led to the pursuit of quantum gravity. This elusive theory aims to provide a consistent quantum description of matter and a geometric description of space-time essential for understanding black hole interiors and the early universe. Despite decades of effort, a complete and consistent theory remains out of reach, though several promising candidates have emerged. One leading approach is string theory, which posits that fundamental particles are not point-like, but one-dimensional strings. String theory aspires to unify all particles and forces, including gravity, within its framework. It introduces additional spatial dimensions and evolves into M-theory, an 11-dimensional model that blends string theory with supergravity. Another contender is loop quantum gravity, which builds on quantum theory's canonical quantization procedures. This model employs Ashtekar variables and envisions space as a spin network, evolving in discrete steps over time. Numerous other approaches, such as the lattice theory of gravity, causal sets, twister models, and path integral-based models of quantum cosmology, continue to be explored. Each candidate faces significant formal and conceptual challenges and awaits experimental validation.
Future discoveries in cosmological observations and particle physics experiments may hold the key to testing these groundbreaking theories.